Hello friends and welcome back to another video. Today is going to be an unhaul. So I have a few things going on in this video. It's going to be a pretty big unhaul. I hope that's kind of the goal. After every month when I do a wrap up, I take any books that I am pretty sure I will be unhauling after knowing what rating I gave them and knowing that I didn't love them. So I put them in a pile, which I have these piles of books sitting on my floor. It's like not that many, honestly, there's not too many books in this pile. What I want to do is go through all my red shelves and try to find books that I am pretty sure I'm just keeping for no reason and that I don't want to have on my shelves, mainly because I want to make more room, especially since I have books that are continuously needing to be put on shelves. I feel like because I'm running out of room, I want to get rid of some that I don't feel like are needed in my collection that I don't want to keep, that I don't feel like, I don't know, they're not favorites, they're not books that I want to have. The second part of this video is going to be me going through my TBR and I really hate unhauling books from my TBR because they aren't read, but the problem is, is some of these books on my TBR have been on my TBR for years and I have yet to reach for them and I have no want to read them anymore. So I really need to get those books out of the TBR shelves to make room for the books that I actually am excited to read and I do want to read and that way they're on display better so that way I can actually see all the books that I have available to read and it just makes for a smoother, easier process when I go to pick out books when I'm in the mood to read. We have a few things going on. It's gonna be a hectic unhaul. There's gonna be several things going on, obviously, so yeah, it's gonna be kind of messy but hopefully it'll be fun to watch me purge my bookshelves and hopefully it'll feel really good for me to purge my bookshelves. That's really why I'm doing this. Yeah, without further ado, let's get to the part where I get rid of books. <laughs> I will say I am contemplating unhauling these two Grady Hendrix though. The first one being How to Sell a Haunted House because I really didn't enjoy this one as much as other people did. I gave it like a three and a half or like a three, I don't really remember. It was really disappointing to me and probably my least favorite Grady Hendrix to date. So I just don't think, I, I don't know, I was keeping it in my collection just because I wanted to own all of his books, but like I don't really like it so I feel like I shouldn't own it, you know what I mean? And then the other one being the Final Girl Support Group, which I also felt like similarly to this one, I thought it was kind of disappointing and not really a favorite. I think I also gave it a three and a half. I liked it more than this one, but I feel like they were both very average. So the resting place, I did like it. I gave it four stars, but like it wasn't anything special and I just don't feel like I need to own it. So I think I'm also gonna take off Christmas presents by Lisa Unger. I gave it a four for entertainment, but a three for plot. And I just don't think I need to keep this because it wasn't that, it wasn't that exciting of a book. I have The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins, which I read forever ago, like years, at least like six years ago. And I just, you know, I don't really, <laughs> I don't really remember if I liked it or not. I think I gave it like three and a half stars or something like that. Maybe three because I don't think I did half stars at that point. But like that's not really good enough to keep honestly in my opinion. I would unhaul Final Girls by Riley Sager because this is my favorite Riley Sager but it's this stupid small paperback that I hate and I'd rather get a hardcover like book of the month version of it. So part of me wants to unhaul this, but then I don't have the regular copy yet. So I might wait until I get the copy that I actually want of this book. I do think I might get rid of this one, Charm and Strange. I remember really liking it. I think I gave it five stars, but for the life of me, I cannot remember what this book is about. I have no idea. I remember absolutely nothing about it absolutely nothing. I do remember liking it, but because I cannot remember anything else about it, I feel like that's not a great sign. <laughs> so I am going to unhaul this. I think I might actually unhaul these Natasha Preston books as well. 
um, the cabin and you will be mine. I also don't remember anything about these. I think I really liked them at the time. I don't feel like I should keep these because I don't really remember them. And I feel like I want to keep books that I actually remember and like. So I am going to unhaul these two. I am going to keep The Cellar by Natasha Preston because that's the one Natasha Preston I actually remember enjoying and liking. If I reread it, I could probably hate it. I don't know, but I'm going to keep it because I remember really liking it. I might unhaul Don't Tell a Soul by Kirsten Miller. I liked it. I did. It was not bad. I think I gave it four stars. It was enjoyable and I liked the plot overall, but it wasn't anything groundbreaking or totally new and different and mind-blowing when I read it. So I feel like, <laughs> I feel like I don't want to keep it when I have so many other YA books that I actually like absolutely adore in my collection. So I think I might also get rid of this one. The next shelf is manga and it is my favorite manga series of all times. Like all of them I absolutely loved and gave five stars to. So we're skipping this shelf and we're going to move on to the second bookshelf over on the other side. Um, so most of this is romance, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep these. Um, I have I'm Glad My Mom Died and some Practical Magic books and then some graphic novels. So I think those are all going to stay, honestly. Okay, so I did in fact give these both four stars. <laughs> but I just don't know if Bentley Little is for me. I have another Bentley Little on my TBR and I just never reach for it. But I kind of want to keep them because I thrifted them and I think they look cool. But at the same time... I just don't think that they're really my vibe. So I think I might unhaul both the association and the mailman, unfortunately. Although their covers are very cool and enjoyable, so. Okay, in this stack, I do think I wanna get rid of The Other Brother by Brandon Massey. I only gave it three stars. It was okay, but I didn't really love it. Okay, that was a little complicated, but yeah, I think The Other Brother is going to be one that I get rid of, but I do really love the cover. And the book was pretty decent, it's just not a new favorite for me. Also in this stack is... oh god, this stack is horrible. Also from this stack, I think I'm going to do Doorbells at Dusk. Um, this was just a very hit or miss short story collection and I only liked some of the short stories so I've just kept it because it's a Halloween short story collection. <laughs> then on this end I still have nothing but blackened teeth. I know I should get rid of this but I love the cover so much. <laughs> I love the cover so much I can't get rid of it. I also didn't love Carmilla but I like this copy <laughs> so I might keep it for a little bit longer honestly that's probably dumb but whatever do think however I'm going to get rid of Kill River because I didn't love this it just didn't really work for me it wasn't the best slasher I've ever read I kept it because I thought that maybe I would read the others in the series but honestly <laughs> I'm probably not going to so I think I'm gonna get rid of that and then I think I'm gonna get rid of Piercing by Ryu Murakami I, it was fine, but I think I liked In the Miso Soup better, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna get rid of this one. Down on the next shelf is some manga. I think I'll probably get rid of Miruko-chan, but I do have more on my TBR, and I am going to give it more of a chance, but this one is definitely probably getting unhauled later on. One that I'm sad about getting unhauled <laughs> is going to be the Valancourt Oh my god, the Valancourt Book of Victorian Christmas Ghost Stories. Jeez, I always mess up when I say this. I bought like four of these. I think I have three more on my TBR and I've had them for like two, maybe three years at this point. I don't really remember. I just, I didn't love this. I think I was trying to love these Victorian ghost stories and I just don't really enjoy them. They kind of go over my head and I kind of find them a little bit boring. I do want to keep them because the covers are really cool and the collection is really pretty as a whole, but I j like I haven't read them. Like I just I'm just owning them to own them and it's stupid. Like I why am I doing that? So, unfortunately, as much as I love them, I think I will 
be getting rid of this one and the others on my TBR. I'm pretty sure I gave this book, The Heart Shaped Box by Joe Hill, five stars, but for the life of me, I cannot remember what this one is about. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's left my mind completely. I literally cannot remember what this book is about. Like, genuinely cannot remember. That is terrible. That is straight up terrible that I cannot remember. It's been years, and I'm pretty sure I really liked it when I read it, but honestly, I'm just gonna unhaul it. Hello, Sam. I'm gonna move you to the side, little buddy. Stand right here. Um, okay. This stack, I, you know, I love these stacks, but they make getting to these books so incredibly difficult. Ah! See, and that's why I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have organized my bookshelves this way. I definitely think I'm going to reorganize my bookshelves because this is not, this is not great. This is just bad. Oh God. I think I am going to unhaul The Resurrectionist by Rath James White. I didn't love this. I think I gave it three stars. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, <laughs> but I didn't love it. So yeah, I think this one needs to go. Working our way down the line. I love, absolutely love the cover of this book, The Dangers of Smoking in Bed. This is so pretty, but I did not love <laughs> this collection. I want to keep it so bad for the cover. Like I genuinely, genuinely want to keep it for the cover. I think I gave it three stars and I just don't really remember the stories and I just, uh, you know, I feel like I shouldn't keep it. The cover is freaking awesome though. Such a good cover. I love it so much. I, I really, I really want to keep it. I really, really want to keep it. I really do. Oh, but I think I'm gonna be good and get rid of it. Sadly, this is another book I gave five stars when I read it, and I I don't remember anything about it. I read it maybe five or six years ago. I don't remember when I read it, but I, I remember really liking it, but honestly, <laughs> I don't remember anything else. Oh, I think I need to get rid of this one too, because I just, I don't see myself rereading it, so why would I keep it, you know? Okay, and then there's a bunch of Stephen King's, and I say a bunch, there's like one, two, three, four, five. There's five. These are like the only five, oh, sorry, six. These are like the only six Stephen Kings I actually enjoy. So these will probably stay, but there are some books under here that I need to get to that I would like to unhaul. The first one being The Exorcist. I know this is like a fan favorite and a cult classic, but I just didn't really like it. I thought it was very mediocre. I thought it was very average. I just didn't really care for it. So. I will probably be unhauling this one because why should I keep it? I didn't really care for it, you know what I mean? So, Hell House. I remember liking this one enough. Oh my god, the cover is so shiny. I remember liking this one enough. I think I gave it four stars, but like, I don't think I want to keep it because it was, it was good, but I don't think it was like that good. But also I gave it four stars. I don't know. I feel like I should just unhaul it, you know what I mean? <laughs> so... I don't know. I think I'm gonna unhaul this one too. I feel like I should unhaul The Ruins by Scott Smith because I gave it a three and a half, but I do really enjoy the end of this book and I do kind of want to keep it. I don't know. I feel like that's dumb, but I, I might hold on to this a little bit longer. This next shelf holds the majority of my Junji Ito collection and some other manga that I really, really enjoyed. So I am going to skip this entire shelf because I really, really like it. So we're not touching anything on this one. I actually think the next two shelves we're not gonna touch because they are mostly manga that I have enjoyed. So that's pretty much it for my red books. So we are going to move on to my TBR shelves. So this TBR shelf, I don't know if there's gonna be too many on here that I am going to get rid of. But one book that I am seeing that I think I really want to get rid of is The Last Beautiful Girl. This made it from my last unhaul. I did not unhaul it and I was like, well, maybe I will, but then I just haven't. So I don't know. I think I'm just not really gravitating towards YA at the moment. So I do think I might just go ahead and unhaul this one. This one I'm kind of iffy about. I bought it on a whim and I don't think it's necessarily for me. I, I just don't know. I don't reach for it. I don't gravitate towards it. I don't see myself reaching for it or gravitating towards it. So I feel like I should probably unhaul it, but 
I might move it to like the maybe pile so let me know if you think I might enjoy this one and I will keep it. I actually feel the same way about this one. It will end like this. I bought this because everyone was talking about it and I thought it sounded really interesting because it's like a Lizzie Borden retelling but I have yet to reach for it so let me know if you think I will like this one and if I should give it a chance and keep it otherwise it will probably get unhauled. I, I feel the same way about this one, Cemetery Boys. I've had it on my shelves for like two years and so many people haven't liked it that it's put me off from reading it and I just never go for this one. So I am a little nervous to keep it on my TBR since it's just been sitting collecting dust. But again, let me know if you think I should read this one and I will keep it if you think I will enjoy it. Otherwise, I think it might get unhauled. I think this is a YA thing with me lately. The Bitter Wine Oath, I bought like two years ago and just never reached for at all. I know it's like a witchy fantasy sapphic romance, I think. So uh, there is a part of me that wants to read it, but I just like am not interested in it. There's nothing really pulling me towards it. I just am feeling not really like that excited by it. I don't like, you know, so I'm, I feel like I might need to take this off my TBR. This was an impulse buy as well. This is more fantasy. And again, I've never reached for it. <laughs> I think it sounds really cool, but I just don't know if it's going to be for me because I don't really enjoy fantasy that much. So this one's also in the maybe pile. Oh my God. This is just me coming after my YA TBR. This one, A Wicked Magic. I really enjoy the cover. I love the color of it. Like, it's also witchy, fantasy, I think, maybe romance. I don't know. I, I, I haven't read it in, like, the two plus years that I've owned it. I kind of feel the same way about The Counselors, but this I think I might read for Summerween in July, so I think I'm going to keep this and try again. <laughs> in a little bit. This is Beneath a Pale Sky. This is a short story collection. I think I got it in a subscription box. Um, I've had it for like two plus years as well and honestly I've never reached for it so I think I will also go ahead and unhaul this one. Okay on this shelf I have a few that I think I'm going to unhaul. I have this one. It's at the top. It's The Doctor's Demons by Maria Abrams. I've heard really not great things about this. And honestly, I've kind of missed my chance of wanting to read it, I think, so I, I might go ahead and unhaul this one as well. This one I've also had on my TBR for so long, cold, and I just never reach for it. I want to read it, like I do, kind of, but I just don't gravitate towards it, so I'm thinking this might need to get unhauled. I think this was one of like my first book of the month book picks and I think I just picked it because it was a thriller but honestly it doesn't sound that good and I don't know why I picked it so I think I might unhaul this one. This, The Library of the Dead. I've also had this on my shelves for like two years or something like that but I might give this to Justin because this is more of a fantasy and I feel like he might actually really like it and then he can tell me if I should read it and we'd still own it. So I think I'm going to give this to him and see if he wants to try it and if he likes it. I've tried to read this book like three times and every time I DNF it or put it to the side because I just can't get into it. So I think I might have to just unhaul this one, which is sad and it sucks, but I just don't think it's going to be for me. I might ask Justin if he wants this one because it is like the Titanic but horror version or whatever. So I might see if he wants to read it. This is another book of the month book that I just got for like one of my first boxes because I didn't know what to get. <laughs> and I've read a few Megan Collins now since then and I haven't really enjoyed them. So I don't think I'm gonna really like this. So I think I'm just going to get rid of this one. Here's the other volumes of the Valancourt book of Victorian Christmas Ghost Stories, volume two, volume three, and volume four. I, like I said, I never reach for these. So I think I'm going to unhaul these with the first book. Here's the other Bentley Little that I own. And since I didn't, I don't know, since I don't think Bentley Little's for me, I think I might go and unhaul this one as well because I've had it forever and I 
never reach for it. Speaking of books I never reach for, I keep saying I'm gonna read The Patient and I never ever ever do. I don't know why I bought this one. <laughs> I don't know why I got it. I feel like that was like really dumb on my part because it's just not something that I think I like but I bought it anyways so I think I'm going to also unhaul this one. Okay now as for the books that have been sitting on my floor waiting for me to unhaul I'll go through those very very quickly and then I will show you how many books we are getting rid of. The Invisible Hour by Alice Hoffman. I just wasn't feeling the writing or the story. I DNF'd it really early on so I am going to get rid of this one. Pieces of Her by Karen Slaughter. I also DNF'd this one. I did not care about the story. I was not interested. I just didn't care. Ring Shout by P. Jelly Clark. I wish I had liked this one more than I did. I liked the idea of this story but I didn't really care for the type of horror that it ended up being. I don't really like that like cosmic monstery sort of horror so I am going to unhaul this one. No One Can Know by K. Alice Marshall. I thought this was very very average and very slow and not really exciting like her other books. Nestlings by Nat Cassidy just wasn't my kind of book. I, I didn't really love the story of this one. What Waits in the Woods by Terry Parlato. I thought this was very predictable, kind of boring, not really a fun thriller that I was looking for. The Babysitter's Coven by Kate Williams. Just very average... <laughs> Not the kind of witchy story that I was excited by. Knock Knock Open Wide by Neil Sharpson. Also just not really my type of story. It just didn't really work for me. I liked the ideas but there was just so much competing in this book that I was all over the place when I was reading it. Very cool cover, very cool concept, just didn't really work for me in the end. The Fury by Alex Megalides. Again, just a book that didn't really work for me. It was interesting enough but I didn't love it. First July Wins by Ashley Elston. Again, not really my type of thriller. It was okay. It kept my attention, but I wasn't that excited by it. And Now She's Gone by Rachel Housel Hall. This was just like a really slow, slow thriller and I was really irritated by the characters and it was predictable in the end for me. So I had like a very average time while reading it. Never Lie by Frieda McFadden. Again, very predictable, very average. I didn't love it. Sugar Baby by Celine St. Clair. I wanted more of like a deep dive into the world of sugar babies with this and it was just a little too like silly goofy for me. It was a little too like not what I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be like darker and deeper and intense. I didn't really feel like it went anywhere below the surface. So Daughter of Mine by Megan Miranda. I had a pretty good time with this one. I enjoyed the second half a lot more but it was a it was a decent thriller. Nothing that I would want to keep in my collection though. Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. I said that this has like my least favorite trope of all time in it. Could have been a five star, ended up being a three star. Bride by Allie Hazelwood. I had a pretty good time while reading this one but it just wasn't perfect for me. I didn't really like the politics. The nodding stuff was really weird. You know it was a good time because I like Allie Hazelwood but I didn't love the whole book. Diavola by Jennifer Thorne. I want to call it Diavola. I know that's wrong but it's ingrained in my head now that I've been pronouncing it wrong. <laughs> I just thought this was fine. It was a frustrating read. Nothing that I was super impressed by and I really like the cover but I'm not keeping it for the cover. The Haunting of Velkwood by Gwendolyn Keist. Again, very average read. It just didn't really work for me in the end. It didn't really all come together. I didn't love it. My Darling Dreadful Thing by Joanna Van Veen. Just more of a gothic romance than anything else and it just it, it wasn't what I wanted it to be. It was fine but nothing that I absolutely adored. We Used to Live Here by Marcus Clywer. This reminded me too much of House of Leaves and it was just not really my kind of vibe. An Antique Hunter's Guide to Murder by C.L. Miller. I got a few pages into this and really did not like the writing so I had to DNF it. And lastly Revenge by Yoko Ogawa. I really wanted to love this but I found it very average. Not really what I was looking for in a short story collection so I will be getting rid of this one as well. Okay, here are the books that I am unhauling. I believe there are 66 books, which is not that 
much honestly when I look at these three stacks I'm not like oh wow that's like a lot of books I have so much room now but I mean it definitely made a little dent so I am happy with you know the progress I made hopefully I can do another unhaul soon I need I just need to be more aggressive about it you know I need to like really unhaul books but so far, I think this is good. I think I did well. This is gonna help me reorganize my bookshelves, which is what I originally wanted to do anyways. So hopefully I have more space now and can organize my bookshelves a little bit differently and do a better job. I don't know, I don't hate the way they're organized now, but I definitely wanna do something different. So hopefully this allows me to get more space and give some of my books more places to be. I could have done more to be honest but i think for now this is pretty good let me know if you enjoyed this type of book haul if you want to see more from me in the future if you want to watch me do what i did again go through all my books and try to get rid of some more because i definitely probably could do it again i could really i could go through both the red and unread books and probably unhaul more so i could definitely do this again here in a little bit for right now i feel like this was a pretty good unhaul so i am very pleased with that so let me know give me a thumbs up if you enjoy unhauls and you want to see another one here in a little bit <laughs> a little bit i don't know how long it's going to take me but i'm sure i could get rid of some more books so let me know if you want to see another one here shortly and I can make that happen. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I also have a Patreon linked down in the description box. We can become friends, talk about books, horrifying books, thrilling books, romance books, manga, all that good fun stuff. And with that being said, I hope you're having a great day, night, morning, afternoon, wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!